church is celebrating 200 years after some dicey beginnings, disease, fire, and a direct connection to one of George Washington's spy rings. Legacy Landmarks reporter Amy Hogan tells us more. Not many churches have their own museum, but for the Union Presbyterian Church, there's just that much to keep track of. Things like Bibles that were used in worship. Now they congregate here at the corners of Main and Liberty Streets, but in 1791, not long after the country was founded, a small group of people in this area decided to start a church. They built a small log cabin in what is now Riverside Cemetery, or historical records say on the knoll. That first church didn't last long, only four years. History blames lack of funds in a malaria outbreak. But in 1819, the founders tried again. That's the year the church uses as its official birth date. And on that list of original founders were the Mercero brothers. Like Mercero Park on Mercero Ave. And if you haven't heard that name, I bet you have heard the name of their former boss. They actually spied for Washington in New York City during the Revolutionary War. Brothers John and Joshua and Joshua's two sons, also John and Joshua, formed the Mercero Spy Ring and are credited with making sure the British couldn't follow George Washington across the Delaware River. They found two Durham boats, they're called Durham boats, uh, sunk in the water with rocks. The fourth great-grandchild of the elder John, Warner grew up hearing the story. They raised them up and they destroyed the boats so the British couldn't follow them. 25 days later, Washington would cross the Delaware again, as Warner puts it. The famous one. The brothers are buried in Riverside Cemetery, and their descendants would stay connected to the church they founded, even through a lot of changes. First, a larger building replaced the log cabin. Then it moved around the corner into an even bigger structure on Main Street where in a strange twist of fate... It was struck by lightning and burned to the ground. The struck by lightning thing is interesting to me. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, I, I, I know of no theological reasons why it was struck by lightning, but um, the clearly the community must have rallied around for them to be able to rebuild so fast. In just 10 months, the current stone church opened its doors in March 1907. It's been an eventful 200 years, and this year the church is celebrating that milestone by... Looking back, but we're also looking at the ways we can serve the community now and into the future. Adding yet another chapter to the story. In Endicott for Fox 40 News, I'm Amy Hogan.